The Texas Instruments CC3200 is the world's first programmable Wi-Fi microcontroller, or MCU, and it's ready to be used in your applications. Let's get started. When setting up your CC3200, make sure that all of the jumpers match how they're set up here. Changing the jumpers affects the functionality of the board. To power the board, connect the provided USB to the CC3200 launch pad. The CC3200 is now in access point mode and is ready to connect to your device. Now grab a computer, tablet, or smartphone. For this demo, we'll use an Android phone. To connect your device to the CC3200, navigate to the device's Wi-Fi settings menu and choose the access point that starts with My Simple Link and connect to it. No password is needed. Once connected, open your browser and type in http colon slash slash mysimplelink.net. Note the address must include http colon slash slash in order to see this site. Congratulations! You've connected to the tiny web server powered by the CC3200. Take some time to explore all of the tabs and get to know your new device. When you're ready, select the Demos tab and you will find options for running four different demos. All four demos leverage the Wi-Fi Wireless MCU. To get started with the demos, select the Home icon on the left, then the Sprinkler demo will appear. Now select the switch to see the Sprinkler turn on. Notice what is happening with the corresponding red LED light on the CC3200 launchpad. Now select the dryer icon to interact with the dryer demo. The onboard temperature sensor and accelerometer power this demo by simulating the water temperature of a washing machine and the movement of a dryer. Shake the CC3200 launchpad to simulate the dryer running. Now let's simulate a security system by selecting the lock icon. Select the switch to simulate the alarm turning on. Shake the CC3200 launchpad and notice that you have triggered the security alarm. For the final demo, watch the same red LED blink or stay on, depending on the current temperature being higher or lower than what is set by the arrow keys. We hope these demos have inspired you to create your own Internet of Things solution. The TI Smart Config technology, also known as Network Connection Mode, is one of several options TI offers to connect the CC3200 to the Internet. We have shown the CC3200 acting as the access point. Now, let's tell it to connect to the Internet through your access point. To try this method, download the SimpleLink Wi-Fi Starter app from ti.com slash tool slash Wi-Fi Starter. Remove power to the CC3200 launchpad. Then remove the jumper between P58 and VCC. This will default the device to station mode. Plug in USB power again. After the app is installed, open the app on your mobile device. Select the bottom Smart Config Technology button and you will be prompted for the password of the access point in which your iOS or Android mobile device is currently connected. You can list a device name for discovery right below the password. Then select Start. Success! The CC3200 is now connected to the internet via your access point. Remember, there are multiple options to connect to the internet. See those other options at ti.com slash simplelinkwifi. Now select the Devices tab at the bottom of the app and select the recently added device by the name you gave it, or you will see a screen like this starting with the CC3200 MAC address. The mobile device automatically launches your browser to view the same tiny web server as you saw in access point mode, this time viewing it through your access point. To start development and get your environment up and running, go to Project Zero at ti.com slash CC3200 Project Zero. For more information about the CC3200, visit ti.com slash simplelinkwifi. Connect more with SimpleLink Wi-Fi solutions. What will you connect?